It's called the Asian Giant Hornet. You may think you've seen one of these in your backyard in Oklahoma, but they actually have a harmless look-alike, the Eastern Cicada Killer. Associate Professor of Entomology and Plant Pathology, Dr. Wyatt Hoback, is here to demonstrate how harmless these bugs are and how you can tell the difference between them and the murder hornet. So for those people who think they might be seeing these murder hornets in their backyard, what are they actually probably seeing? Got a lot of phone calls and photographs and videos and a number of dead ones that have been submitted uh, because people think murder hornet 2020, uh, this is dangerous. And this is a native species that's not dangerous at all. It's called a cicada killer because the females will sting cicadas. Uh, cicadas are the insects that are on trees that make that loud noise. Uh, these will sting them and then use them to reproduce. So people see this and they, they kind of freak out a little bit. So what is the difference between the cicada killer and the murder hornets? So both the European hornet and the cicada killer have brownish heads. Doesn't really stand out. Murder hornet has a big yellow head. So it's wider than the shoulders, very bright yellow. They have big uh, mandibles, jaws. And so um, odds are you don't have to get that close to see the color of the head. Uh, especially here in Stillwater and places close, if you see that the tip of the abdomen's black, it's a common native species. So those males, they're, they can't sting whatsoever, but those females can't. So are there distinct differences between those two? Generally size. So the male is a lot smaller than uh, the female. So here's the, the female that was killed and you can see that she's considerably bigger than the male. Well, you talked about how painless that sting is, but now you're gonna demonstrate and actually show us what that sting is like. This is a female cicada killer. You might be able to see that long stinger. It's sharp, it's long, it's flexible, and she's very angry. She's excited to sting you, she's ready. So she just wants to get away, right? She is interested in not being eaten. So are we ready? Go for it. Let's see it. Okay, she got it in, delivered her venom right there. And so here in a few minutes, I'll have a white spot where my body reacts to her sting. Uh, the cicada killer sting feels a little electrical, a little hot. Uh, the pain will last about 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, so it's about like a hypodermic needle, it's nothing bad. And you can uh, start to see just a local reaction. I'll swell up a little bit. Uh, that's my body's immune cells mm -hmm. reacting to a foreign substance. So if somebody is afraid of these wasps, but they have a fear of maybe getting stung, what should they do then? Yeah, and so you can get rid of these wasps around your house. You can treat your yard with pesticides. Uh, unfortunately, the pesticides may affect you, your pets, maybe your children. Uh, you can also just use a garden hose and spray water and these wasps will leave. So uh, part of stinging myself and, and educating people is to show uh, what you didn't understand, maybe you're afraid of, and now hopefully you understand mm -hmm. better. And so uh, less reason to be afraid. Cicada killers are most prominent in the summertime and as Dr. Hoback demonstrated, they are nothing to be afraid of.